Hello everybody, it's me, Gravity, and uh, the Pokemon decided to drop a, a load of news on us today, especially on the day that Byleth comes out for Smash, which I'm like, uh, come on, stop dropping a load on me. That sounded very weird, but ignore that. We got, we're talking about Pokemon Home today. Uh, they finally released some information on it. Um, I actually read about this beforehand, but I wanted to make a video on it, because uh, I don't know. I want to give my honest thoughts on it. And stuff so let's do that so Pokemon is still having the February 2020 uh, launch window however some people have seen like on the Dutch website that uh, it might be coming on February 2nd but we just won't talk about that yet until they until we absolutely know when so you know it says Pokemon home is a cloud service for Nintendo switch and compatible mobile devices designed as a place for all Pokemon can gather by linking the same Nintendo account in both the Nintendo Switch and mobile version of Pokemon Home, you'll be able to access the same Pokemon boxes in both versions. With Pokemon Home, you can move Pokemon between compatible games, trade Pokemon on the go, and more. So we there's like three different things that we have on here. Um, a section for moving, trading, and more features. And it also talks about a premium plan. We're just going to go over each one and like skim through each one. Um, back and forth, whatever. So we got move Pokemon to Pokemon Home. So... We'll let this load. So yeah, it says the Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon Home supports connectivity with the Nintendo Switch game Sword, Shield, Let's Go, Pikachu, and Eevee. Uh, both the Nintendo Switch version and mobile version have home of uh, with home support. So it seems like certain phones probably won't be probably like the older ones. Just my guess. Um, <laughs> hopefully, it's not a situation like Pokemon Masters. But um, it sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, it also lets us uh, connect with uh, Pokemon Bank from the 3DS. Um, my guess is that you'll probably also have to link your Nintendo Network account with that Nintendo account. Probably fair. Um, but also, uh, and uh, it says uh, once a Pokemon Let's Go game, Pokemon is moved in a certain shield, it cannot be moved back. However, you can move Pokemon back and forth from like Let's Go t from another Let's Go game to another one. But really, who's gonna do that? <laughs> So we got connect with Pokemon, connect with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, it says uh, they can link to your versions. Once they're linked, you can deposit or retrieve Pokemon. And then for Let's Go Eevee, same thing. However, once it gets to Sword and Shield, it can't go back. And then uh, we have Pokemon Bank, and they also say that Pokemon Go is going to be supported later on, but not at launch, which that's all right. Um, I got a couple shinies in Pokemon Go, but most of them are not um what's the word um they're not uh in the in the decks like uh like my mudkip I have a shiny mudkip but that's not in the decks so whatever or kabuto <laughs> uh, I can't remember what else I had but yeah you can also uh, connect with Pokemon Bank and they're also giving us a month of a month a free month of Pokemon Bank to let us transfer all of our Pokemon which is actually really cool so we don't have to pay both the five dollars and the amount that we're going to be paying with Pokemon Home, which we'll be talking about later. Um, so yeah, there's that. So now we're going to move on to trading. So it looks like for the mobile, you can we use our mobile, the mobile version of the app to pretty much trade for any time, anywhere. There are four ways to trade Pokemon through Wonderbox, which is essentially like Wonder Trade, but a mass Wonder Trade. So it's saying that Pokemon can be traded with people around the world, um, kind of like water trading. Um, and you'll be able to increase the number of Pokemon you can trade at once, which is, it looks like it's going to be a mass wonder trade, which I think is really cool. Next up we have the GTS. They're bringing back the GTS. I'll be honest, I never really liked the GTS, but hey, it's whatever. Um, some people liked it, some people didn't. You know, had those, hey, I just want to have a, uh, I just want to have a Pokemon to fill up my Pokedex. Okay, you're going to need a level one Mew for that. No, I hated that. <laughs> But um, it looks like we'll be able to do, for the premium plan, you'll be able to do up to three Pokemon on your to deposit into GTS, which is pretty cool. And hopefully, um, people won't be very, uh, <laughs> very extraordinary with their requests. No, I do not have a level one Dragonite. Please stop asking me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to get that out. Now we have a room trade, which is like it's uh, you're creating a room to trade among people you want to join. Oh, okay. It says, looks like each room, room can hold about the 20 people to add a little suspense. You won't know what Pokemon you'll receive until... Oh, that's very interesting. 
I kind of like that. Trading in rooms has no cost, but you'll you'll only be able to create rooms when you have a premium plan. Okay. So, even if you don't have a premium plan, you can still trade with other people, which is cool. And then we have friend trade, which is trading with friends. Now, this doesn't say it, but I wonder if it'll also link with your Nintendo Switch friend list and maybe your Pokemon Go friend list too. I hope so. But if not, it's going to be a little tedious to re-register your friends onto Pokemon Home. So, you know. And it looks like based on, uh, based on the screenshots here, you'll be able to use m different trainer icons to represent yourself. If that's the case, I'm definitely using Brendan because I'm a hoeing boy till I die. Uh, <laughs> so, now we're going to go to more features. So, one of the big ones, so people can stop shutting up, shut, just shut up <laughs> about this. National Pokedex will be in this, will be in Pokemon Home. Okay, now you can shut up, bring back National Dex people. Just, it's get, it's here. Be quiet. But, uh, basically... Pokemon will be registered into the National Dex when you deposit them. And if you move a Pokemon that can Mega Evolve or Gigantamax, these forms will also be registered, which is really cool. Um, in the National Pokedex, you'll be able to see Pokedex entries from various different games. So that means you'll be able to see the X and Y ones, the ORS ones, maybe even the red and blue ones, since, you know, we've had the Virtual Console ones on 3DS. You never know. That would actually be really cool. It looks like from these screenshots here, you can see you can look at regular Charizard, uh, Mega Charizard and Gigantamax Charizard, which is cool. And also with the mobile app of Pokemon Home, you'll be also to see more than just the Pokedex entries. You can see their abilities and the moves they learn, which is cool. And I feel like this might make some Pokedex apps pretty obsolete. <laughs> so that'll be very interesting to see. Um, and also they're saying that we're getting mystery gifts. So there are some mystery gifts that will be exclusive just to Pokemon Home. And then there will be some that will only be on sword that can you can put on sword and shield, which is pretty interesting. Um, so it looks like one of them we have right here is a Pikachu gift where you just get a Pikachu. I wonder how special it uh, it would end up being though. And then there's some down here like a Pokeball gift that can be converted into sword and shield. So makes me wonder. Okay, no, it says you have to do it from Coder Password. Okay, never mind. I was like, can you just get it straight from there? And then, this one is exclusive to Premium Plan, but allows you to judge Pokemon, which essentially is checking their stats and IVs and such. Which I think is really nice. Um, you know, in case, like, for a future game, um, you want to put a Pokemon into your competitive decks, well, at least into your competitive team, or maybe breed in, in that game, so you know what IVs they got and stuff. That's really cool. I like that. And it looks like down here with the screenshot with Mimikyu, it shows, you know, the stats, its ability, held item, um, nature move set and, and other things and then this thing called your room this is one thing that I'm a little confused about I'm wondering what the heck this is so it says in your room you'll be able to see all sorts of Pokemon information about the events of games you've connected to in Pokemon home you'll also be able to edit your profile using stickers you'll obtain stickers when you meet certain conditions to perform certain tasks called challenges interesting so I'm guessing this your room thing is kind of like the main menu or screen or whatever. And it looks like now we have challenges, friends, and news. And I'm guessing the news is like for things like when the next um, comp online competitions update or something. Or uh, what the latest um, Gigantamax Pokemon raids are. That's just my guess. And uh, when you're looking at down here uh, for these, it looks like we have, uh, so it looks like challenges. Down here it says you brought over a Turtwig, a Chimchar, and a Piplup for the Sinnoh region, so you got those stickers. And other ones I see down here is register one of Al Creamy's forms, and um, register a special. I can't read that bottom part. It's, <laughs> but it looks like we'll be there'll be some interesting ones. I wonder what all the stickers will be. It looks like we have uh, the logos for Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, and Green, and then we have the starters for Gens One, Two, Three, and Five. And even like the is that the Safari Ball? No, that's the that's the uh, Nest Ball and the Ultra Ball, Pokeball, Great Ball, whatever. So, I wonder if they're gonna add even more onto this beyond what they're telling us. And we have battle data. They actually already told us told us about this to where you can look at your battle data from Sword and Shield and ranked battles and such. And then it says for news on uh, you'll be also be able to receive news about Pokemon being distributed as gifts or information about online. Okay, that's what I thought. 
And then we have this thing called Pokemon Home Points, which are basically, uh, you get home points when you deposit Pokemon. And if you use Pokemon Shield for, uh, for Poke, if you, by using the Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon Home, you can exchange your points for battle points to be used in, uh, Sword and Shield, which is very interesting. I actually like that. So we have things where there are certain things that will be only on the Switch version, only on the mobile version. So the obvious ones, uh, moving Pokemon from Let's Go and Sword and Shield, you can't do that on a phone. Moving Pokemon from Pokemon Bank can be both mobile and Switch. So it makes me think that you probably have to link your Nintendo account with that. Judge Pokemon, both. For trading, it's only on mobile, which is very interesting. However, it would probably be make more sense because, you know, you're more likely to do stuff on your phone. Um, you also can receive mystery gifts, check battle data, and check your news via the mobile device, which is cool. And then for only with Switch version, it's uh, exchanging for battle points, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to move on to the premium choice, which talks about the, the premium vo option. So, all right, so here's the controversy here. And I even made a tweet about it, and I guess people really like or hate it. <laughs> but basically, for one month, for 30 days, it's two, three dollars. For three months, 90 days, it's five dollars. And for a full year, it is sixteen dollars. So a lot of people are very upset about the sixteen dollar price hike. I'll be honest; I was expecting probably like to be like ten dollars for a whole year. Um, so so sixteen dollars is a little higher than I uh, expected. But, um, with all the stuff they're giving us, and I don't know, maybe they might even be adding more onto this. That would be cool. Honestly, I would dig it. I don't really care. I mean, it's just $16. It's uh, not like it's like a $16 a month kind of thing. Um, it's kind of like Pokemon, I mean, Nintendo Online is $20 a year. Um, but, uh, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, yeah, it's a little high, but it's whatever. It is what it is. So yeah, it even tells you what you can and can't do. So it looks like you can't even transfer from Pokemon Bank if you have basic, which is very interesting. Um, but I mean, I bet there it's probably because given the other limitations we have for 30 Pokemon per for that you can deposit, that's probably only for the people that have like Pokemon Let's Go, and not the previous games, and just want to transfer those into Sword and Shield. And then we also have. Um, Three Pokemon per Wonder Bucks for basic and ten for premium. So you can still do the trading options, which is cool. And for GTS, GTS is still in there. So some people were trying to complain that GTS is now um, is now shilled into the game. But like, no, it's you can use it for free. You dingus. <laughs> and then, like I said, you can participate in room trades and host. Um, however, oops. <laughs> However, the judge function will only be available for premium. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to cough. <laughs> so, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it looks like they're pretty much revealing mostly everything that we have they have to show us. However, some people are saying that we might be getting more stuff added onto it in the future. Obviously, Pokemon Go support will be added later, and they'll probably tell more about us when that'll happen. And for the lot of people that are com that are complaining about the Pokemon like not be able to do Pokemon Bank, if you have Pokemon Go, you can still you they'll probably still let you transfer from there for free. But um, other than that, I honestly don't have much of a problem with this. Yeah, it's a little high. The price is a little high than what most people wanted, but it's something that I can live with. Um, it's not like it's, it's not like it's uh, super overpriced. Like people were there. I remember there were people mad. That they were charging us five dollars a year for a uh, Pokemon Bank, <laughs> and now people are fine with that. And now we have the sixteen dollar, and everyone's complaining. It's like it's happening all over again. Watch in a, in a year or two, no one's really gonna care, and they're gonna buy it anyway. So whatever. <laughs> but anyways, this has been me, Gravity, and I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing this video and us talking about Pokemon Home, and hopefully, um, we'll even try it out on a video. Um, but other than that. That's pretty much all I have for you, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See ya!